SpaceX's upcoming Starship flight, Flight 8, is generating significant buzz as the company strives to avoid repeating the debris issues of Flight 7. Key to this mission is the testing of a Block 2 Starship aft section within a specialized test tank, designated as Test Tank 16. This test tank, having undergone rigorous cryogenic testing and recently relocated to the Star Factory, is critical to validating structural improvements. The need for rapid validation of these fixes is paramount, not only for SpaceX's reputation, but also for securing FAA approval for future flights. The fast pace of testing reflects the increasing pressure on SpaceX to demonstrate the reliability and safety of its Starship designs. The rapid advancements in Starship technology, along with the increasing frequency of tests, underscore the growing ambition and rapid development within the commercial spaceflight industry. This new focus on testing and validation underscores the significant pressure SpaceX faces to ensure mission success. The complexity of the testing process and the pressure on the company to deliver reliable and safe spacecraft highlight the growing challenges within the field. The scrutiny of these tests is intense, emphasizing the critical nature of both the mission and the growing pressure on SpaceX to demonstrate the effectiveness of its engineering solutions. SpaceX's approach to validating the structural integrity of its Starship Block 2 aft section involves rigorous testing of Test Tank 16. This test tank, a crucial component for Flight 8, is being subjected to various crucial tests, including simulations of the extreme forces encountered during flight. The focus is on identifying and resolving any potential weaknesses in the thrust structure, a critical element in preventing the kinds of issues observed during the previous flight. The tests, potentially including a can crusher simulation, aim to determine if the implemented improvements adequately address the concerns raised by the previous flight's anomalies. The need for comprehensive testing and validation is evident in the complexity of the spacecraft. A specific testing regime includes various pressures and simulations, mirroring the flight conditions. This process, which includes the use of a can crusher style test, is intended to expose any vulnerabilities in the updated design. The outcome of these tests will be crucial for determining whether the modifications have eliminated the identified weaknesses and if Flight 8 can proceed as planned. The intensity of these tests highlights the significant responsibility SpaceX faces to ensure safe and reliable spacecraft. SpaceX's expansion at Starbase continues with significant upgrades to its testing and launch infrastructure. These developments include a dedicated area for processing Starlink satellites and the installation of a specialized Starlink loader system within the high bay. This system is designed to seamlessly integrate Starlink satellites into the Starship payload bay. The system's complexity suggests a broader strategy to enhance Starship's versatility beyond its primary function as a transportation vehicle. The installation of this system highlights SpaceX's increasing focus on diverse missions and payloads, aiming to maximize the utilization of its massive spacecraft. This specialized system, with its specialized dispensers, underscores the growing complexity and sophistication of Starship's intended roles. The upgrades and enhancements to the Starbase infrastructure reflect SpaceX's ongoing commitment to innovation and its pursuit of a broader range of space missions. This comprehensive approach demonstrates the significant investments and efforts being made to ensure efficiency and versatility. The meticulous installation of the Starlink loader system and associated components at Starbase signifies a significant step towards broadening the potential applications and capabilities of the Starship. NASA's renewed pursuit of a private sector partner for the Viper rover mission underscores a significant shift in lunar exploration strategy. The assembled rover, ready for launch but previously facing potential cancellation, now seeks a commercial partner to complete its lunar mission. This represents a crucial collaboration between government and private entities, recognizing the complex and costly nature of lunar missions. The involvement of a private company addresses the logistical and financial challenges of sending the rover to the moon. This initiative underscores a renewed commitment to lunar exploration, potentially accelerating the mission's timeline and maximizing the utilization of existing resources. NASA's move to seek a private partner demonstrates a recognition of the value private companies bring to space exploration, particularly in terms of reducing the financial burden on the government's space budget. This partnership could potentially streamline the mission's execution 
and accelerate progress in lunar research. The revived Viper rover mission highlights a valuable collaboration between the public and private sectors, offering potential cost savings and increased operational efficiency. China's move to incorporate privately developed rockets into its Tiangong space station resupply operations signals a significant shift in its space program. This initiative mirrors the U.S. approach following the space shuttle's retirement, where private companies like SpaceX took on critical resupply roles. However, the Chinese strategy, utilizing rockets seemingly based on existing SpaceX designs, raises questions about technological innovation and long-term sustainability. This apparent reliance on existing technologies, while potentially cost-effective initially, may limit long-term advancements in the Chinese space program. The use of privately developed rockets suggests a greater emphasis on the commercial sector's role in space operations, potentially creating a new level of competition and cooperation within the global space industry. The use of these rockets also signifies China's increasing ambition in the realm of space exploration. The move toward private sector involvement for resupply missions is significant and may indicate a wider shift in the way China approaches its space program, potentially aiming for cost-effectiveness and operational flexibility. This development underscores the changing dynamics of space exploration and the evolving roles of both government and private entities in space endeavors. SpaceX's continued advancements at Starbase, particularly the ongoing construction and upgrades to Pad B, underscore the company's commitment to a high-volume launch cadence. The successful installation of the traveling block and the addition of horizontal tanks and associated systems in the fuel farm further enhance the launch pad's capacity and efficiency. This expanded infrastructure directly supports SpaceX's ambitious plans for frequent Starship and booster launches. The upgrades to Pad B, including the flame diverter and the upgraded water cooling system, signify a significant step toward a more robust and versatile launch facility. This commitment to infrastructure development demonstrates a proactive approach to managing the increasing demand for launch capabilities. The new flame diverter, in conjunction with the improved water cooling system, aims to ensure safety and efficiency during launch operations, crucial for supporting the high frequency of launches planned. These enhancements and investments in infrastructure are essential for sustaining the pace of development and ensuring the reliability of operations. The sheer scale of these upgrades highlights the immense resources devoted to the Starship program, underscoring the potential for rapid advancements in space transportation. The improvements demonstrate a dedication to keeping pace with the ambitious goals of the Starship program and its projected future missions. SpaceX's commitment to innovation is evident in the presence of a striking Mars globe prominently displayed in the company's headquarters. This globe signifies the company's long-term vision for Mars exploration and potential colonization, serving as a constant reminder of its ambitious goals. Beyond mere decoration, the globe represents SpaceX's dedication to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. This symbolic gesture likely aims to inspire employees and visitors alike fostering a sense of shared purpose and ambition. The appearance of this globe reflects the company's dedication to its long-term goals and aims to inspire its workforce in the face of the monumental challenges ahead. The symbolic inclusion of the Mars globe underscores the company's focus on establishing a permanent human presence beyond Earth. The Mars globe becomes a tangible representation of SpaceX's aspirations for the future of space exploration and the potential for humanity's expansion into the cosmos. This deliberate placement of the globe emphasizes the company's future ambitions and underscores its long-term vision. The introduction of a competitor, Stoke Space, and its Zenith engine further underscores the increasingly competitive nature of the emerging space industry. The company's commitment to innovation is evident in both the visible and symbolic enhancements. The recent emergence of Stoke Space and its Zenith engine as a potential competitor to SpaceX's Raptor engine signifies a notable development in the private space industry. Stoke Space's successful hot fire test of its first stage rocket engine, powered by the Zenith engine, marks a significant milestone for the young company. The engine's unique design, a bi turbo pump fed second stage hybrid aerospike engine, distinguishes it from existing propulsion systems. Stoke Space's innovative approach to engine design highlights the growing competition and the drive for new technologies within the private sector. This innovative approach is crucial for driving advancements in space propulsion. The engine's promising performance, evidenced by the successful test 
places Stoke Space amongst the rising contenders in the burgeoning commercial space industry. This competition fosters innovation and accelerates advancements in rocket technology. The emergence of Stoke Space and its Zenith engine signifies the increasingly competitive landscape in the space industry. This competition encourages innovation and drives further advancements in propulsion technology, potentially opening up new avenues for space exploration and commercialization. The successful test sets the stage for Stoke Space's Nova rocket, signaling the company's ambition in the commercial space sector. The hot fire test and subsequent development signify the company's drive to enter the space market and compete with established players. NASA's recent action regarding the Viper rover, now seeking a private partner for its lunar mission, highlights a significant shift in the agency's approach to lunar exploration. The already assembled rover, originally slated for a launch as part of the Astrobotics Griffin lander, is poised for a revived mission. This marks a pragmatic move to potentially accelerate the mission's launch by leveraging commercial expertise and resources. This renewed initiative underscores the growing understanding that private partnerships can significantly enhance the efficiency and reduce the financial burden of lunar missions. The Viper rover, designed to search for water ice near the moon's south pole, is a crucial tool for understanding the lunar environment and resources. Its innovative design and advanced capabilities contribute to NASA's Artemis program, which aims to establish a sustained human presence on the moon. This partnership model potentially addresses challenges that might have hindered the mission's previous trajectory, offering a streamlined path for achieving the mission objectives. The rover's advanced capabilities, along with the potential for cost reduction through partnerships, demonstrate a willingness to adopt flexible strategies in lunar exploration. The decision to seek private partnerships signifies a significant change in approach, recognizing the value of diverse contributions to achieving lunar exploration goals.